Bada bing, bada boom. You know what it is. CEO Geek, I'm here with the Iron Lady, Marina Morose, ahead of her matchup going down at the Apex this Saturday. How are you, Marina? Hi, I'm good. She's doing good. She's got a fresh <laughs> new, <laughs> good view. She's got a fresh I'm new, hungry. <laughs> she's got the fresh new number next to her name. She is freshly announced the number 15 flyweight in the world. Uh, how does that feel, Marina? I know you just got that number next to your name. It's like a you're getting that recognition. How does that feel seeing that 15 next to your name? Uh, it was a surprise, of course, for me. Uh, but a long time I wait for, to be in 115. Now time to be soon to be in top 10. So uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. This has got to be one of the quickest from unranked to top 10s ever if you get this win on Saturday, you know. So let's talk about this matchup. They give you Jennifer Maya, the number eight ranked flyweight in the world. She's, you know, only fighting women that, you know, title challengers, former title challengers. Uh, what is this matchup for you? Uh, are you excited for this bout? Uh, what's what's it like getting that number eight name? This is a big name. Uh, it's very good fight. She she good fighter um, too, and she's very tough. But I prepared for this fight, uh, and uh, it's for my wife very um, big step to be fighting in with top uh, eight, uh, and I hard work all camp. Um, you know, many people always write me message bad. Oh, you in beach or. Oh, no, I always train and never rest, like, uh, two months, one time on the beach, try to rest, try a couple, two hours, and that's it, and every day hard work, hard, so, but Instagram, I show always uh, my free time, when I rest, pictures, try to make beautiful pictures, but I don't show my uh, real life in train hard, but I save in my phone a lot of video, pictures, but after fight, I will be start to post it. So, it awesome. will be, um, and people will be, will be see how I train, how I work it, how it's hard, and um, I'm ready for fight. Just a little bit cut weight in, eat, eat, drink, and after a fight. Awesome. And after a fight, a lot to eat. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I can imagine you're going to be eating like crazy after this, after the scales. Um, look, we got our buddy Goosey. He's clocking in. What's going on, Goose? Hey, just finished up. Good to see you, Marina. Hi, good to see you. Yep, so I just asked her about her matchup. She got the fresh ranking next to her name. She's got number eight. So another question about the matchup, stylistically, how do you see this fight kind of going? Because, you know, she's known to be more of like a grappler and, you know, you're on a three fight win streak. You've got all these bonuses. You're known to be a super entertaining fighter. So how do you see this matchup? I know that you do a lot of boxing work. You, your jujitsu is amazing as well. But how do you plan on on taking down this grappler? Um, Right now, I feel like... Um... I am a my fight fighter. I train both. I train uh, striking always and every day and train uh, always jiu-jitsu every day. So Monday wrestling, Tuesday jiu-jitsu, Wednesday wrestling, Friday jiu-jitsu, Tuesday jiu-jitsu, Friday jiu-jitsu. So every day train jiu-jitsu and wrestling. So and every day I have striking. So work at technique, work pads. So work uh, with partner. So I work a lot both. Uh, I want to be not only like, oh, I only striker, but uh, no, only jiu-jitsu. So I love it both. Uh, sometimes one weekend I feel good jiu-jitsu. Sometimes one weekend I feel good striking. So, but we like carousel up, down, but finishes, you feel good, everything. Uh, so I'm ready for everything. I know she good. She good pressure. She tough. She miss a lot. Last time with a French girl, I see miss a lot punch, but she pressure. She try to um, grab her, but um, 
French girl have good uh, defense, sometimes sweep uh, and uh, good position in jiu-jitsu take. So um, I'm not scared for jiu-jitsu. I'm ready for everything. Um, so uh, we have game plan and uh, I hope you, it will be a surprise for everyone. Uh, I try to every fight to be different. Sometimes striking, sometimes jiu-jitsu, sometimes both. So uh, we're looking who partner, who uh, in looking uh, who opponent and who um um need a statki. Like what not enough? Not not enough. What not enough? Correct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand. Looking at problem where she she good, where she bad. So how how I can to found the key for unlock this fight. unlock the win. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> there we go. Um it sounds like you're you're training a lot this camp. Obviously, uh you had a big partnership announcement this uh since your last fight with Playboy. How has it been uh balancing that this training camp ahead of the fight? Um first camp start I a little bit work with playboy like pictures but later um I tell you that I make more pictures after fight because I need to more focus it uh but we still work it we have a good package uh, for pictures prepared mm -hmm. so everything in my site uh and um I try to more work train uh focus for fight um so my manager helped me everything so um it was a little bit hard but uh a little bit spent my free time when i need to sleep rest <laughs> but i enjoy enjoy because time move fast and sometimes you need to enjoy uh time like oh playboy oh you see fight camp everything it's like good emotion and you will be remember like enjoy oh i did this this so uh it was it was fun and um after fight i keep going again more pictures and train too of course because train i love it sometimes i say after fight i will be rest one two weeks no, three days and I start, oh, I need to run. Oh, I need something to do. Maybe exercise. Oh, a little bit. It's like uh, uh, narcotic. Like you want everything. <laughs> you cannot to stop. So I I always, what I need in my life? Train, make pictures, good food, uh, enjoy life. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, congratulations on that, by the way, because that is history, being the first ever UFC fighter to uh, partner with them. So that's, that's awesome. Thank yeah, you that, so much. That is awesome. You are making history. The first female UFC fighter to sign with Playboy. Uh, super sweetness. Uh, along with, you know, these many things that you've accomplished, a UFC fighter, you're also a boxing coach. Am I right? Where Where is all your boxing coaching uh, taking place? Give us a little insight on your boxing. Uh, I was a little bit in Ukraine, but after I finish, uh, I was in Olympic team boxing, uh, train a lot, but after it's like small money was, uh, and uh, I want to be Karana fighting, uh, I want I want to fight him. So uh, for me, a little bit was hard to be coaches, train. Uh, I I was I finished uh, institute Olympic uh, professional Olympic uh, I don't know how to say it's like for sportsman uh, institute uh, for um, to be professional coaches everything so uh, five years but um, after like I understand that I want to fight in more than uh, work it like. Uh, teach um, uh, somebody maybe later maybe uh, but right now i more uh, love it to train myself <laughs> yeah no i know less less training more fighting <laughs> I, I think about 
open in Florida small gym like for a boxing, not MMA, but just boxing, like Ukraine boxing, like something. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be sweet. The geeks would have to show out for sure. Oh yeah, we would come support for sure. We would come all the time. And the question I have is, you know, you beat Jennifer Maya. Do you think that you're like one fight away from a title shot? Or what do you think the path is after that? Because once you, you know, beat a girl like Jennifer Maya, I mean, there's not, you know, too many names ahead of that, you know? Uh, I know she, she very tough. I know it will be hard fighting. She tough. Uh, but we have maybe another girl, maybe number one after fighting. Who is number one? I think French girl, maybe. I don't know. So um, after fight, will be better to sit and talk uh, who next opponent or who will be a good uh, fighting for after fight. So I try to be more smart work. Sometimes people, oh, I need, give me this, give me this fight. Uh, sometimes better after fight, you sit, think, okay, I want this fight. It will be better for me. Like, so more smart. <laughs> yeah, I feel what you're saying. Just like a more tactical approach, you know, don't rush anything. And a lot of those fighters, you know, their emotions are so high after they win, they just, you know. Yeah, yeah. because in the top 10, many fighters right now. So we wow. need to think who will be a good fighter, like show good fights too, like not easy fight. Right. I, I don't, don't take like, oh, I need to easy fight. Good fight, beautiful, show uh, good day. Everything. All right. Well, did you get a chance to watch UFC 281 that just happened uh, last weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. I I watched it a little bit. <laughs> last couple of fights, I sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you think of um Molly McCann versus Aaron Blanchfield? Did you get to see that fight? Oh, yeah. I see this fight. Uh, I don't know. She so too fast <laughs> she <laughs> mm, she good fighter she talk a lot uh, molly um she tough she want oh i'm ready for fight let's go let's go but we see what happened uh she talk a lot like ready for fight a lot media um maybe she not good prepared for fight uh, she not Respect maybe opponent. She like oh maybe I very easy to fight. So I finish elbow. So she think maybe uh, oh again maybe elbow. But it's sometimes you need to change your strategy to see how people oh, work. People oh no you two times win with elbow. You need to something switch change in uh, strategy to be different. Because your opponent always to see how you work, see how you move, so uh, work it. So you need to be make something different. Surprise! Like you know who will be surprised for me? Amanda Nunes when she salpo, she moves salpo, and uh, her opponent do, don't she don't know uh, what she need to do. So she was confusing couple rounds. Uh, she did like it was surprise, and for me it was surprise too. Uh, and she showed very good fight. So, no, yeah, I can definitely respect you know coming in and the game plans and having to be ready and prepared for anything. Uh, I love to hear the stories like when the coaches talk about oh, you know, game plan A didn't work, game plan B didn't work. We had to go to plan C. You know, like I love hearing like the full like breakdown of that fighters have entering fights. Um, so for this one, I'm sure you did a lot of research and all that kind of stuff. How's this camp been? Has this been one of your better, better camps leading into this? Would you say this is your best camp yet? No, my camp always good. I have uh, a lot of sparring part partners. We have right now a lot of girls. So many girls help me in sparring. So sometimes I work a lot with guys, but we have very tough girl, uh, UFC fighters, um, Invicta fighters, girls. So 
uh, girl help me sometimes work with guys so um it, in ITT is good gym where ways you can to found a lot um small small partner like not heavy I don't work with heavy guys like always take small many guys like Tony he fight the UFC I work it with him uh so Ariana Lipsky work uh Shitara uh, Myra Shitara uh, so many g- girl help me jiu-jitsu girl so Karolina Kovalkevich we train together a lot so a big win last weekend we have like we friendly everyone like uh, support help try help uh, try uh, we have like if i did something she say oh it it's not working marina like you need to change something like this not good uh and she do, do it like take down or a combination i say i see no it's change something like so we try to help like learn teach so it's cool yeah, I was gonna ask. Uh, with everything going on back home, how how is your family doing back in Ukraine? Um, my family okay. Um, yeah, I I, I start, try to talk to him in message because very bad internet in Ukraine right now. I don't know in my village, so maybe one month I don't talk in the phone. So we always message. So I'm okay. Um, sometimes maybe you know uh, message uh, and you didn't didn't see because uh, last time I talk and my mother was so like too much panic. But my friends told me like S- same village. Live, don't worry, everything okay. Just a little bit like listen rackets uh, something it's like dangerous but my mother was last time panic and i s- a little bit nervous like a lot like not a little bit like a lot nervous and but after i was calm so and start to very bad internet so we always message oh you okay how are you what are you doing like just like this question so mm, but everything okay Oh, that's great to hear that you're still in co- communication. Everything's fine. Uh, so I mean, yeah. after this, after this win, what's going to be the message? Uh, you're going to go celebrate. I imagine you go out in the town that night. You know, what's going to be your message uh, once you get the win? I win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, win. I love you, my family. I win fights. <laughs> Yeah, because you're known for those passionate post-fight speeches. I know the situations obviously are, are around, but I mean, I just I can't wait to see you get out there and you know get the microphone in your face and do your thing. Um, Justin's gonna be taking you around the town. I'll make sure of it. Uh, yeah, no, I mean we're not gonna take too much of your time tonight. So I really appreciate you coming on, Marina, uh, and best of luck. Um, go do your thing. Do you want to say any shout outs, any sponsors, or anything before we get out of here? Playboy, come in, my Playboy. <laughs> Let's go making history. Link in bio, link in bio in my Instagram. <laughs> yeah, make sure everyone's subscribed, following all of Marina's socials, her exclusive sites. Get after it. She's doing good stuff. So thank you again, Marina. I'm CEO. That's Goosey. That's the Iron thank Lady. Thank you, guys. Thank We're you out. so much. Thank you, Marina.